we welcome you to Getting Ready with Jamie Carp Ministries. Welcome to the mountains. Welcome to the beginning of the campuses of the Word of Life Center, the Mahane Mission. One in the mountains here in Heiko, West Virginia, and one by the sea, which is lovingly God has spoken to us that that is a symbol of the place of Zebulun. This is the places of Issachar up in the mountains. The ones the Bible says that knew the times, <laughs> that knew the times, and they were the ones that... The, the people of Issachar, they were the ones that taught the people because they knew the times and they were the ones that knew the word. And it came from the mountains. And the people of Zebulun, the ones by the sea, the coastland, uh, the Galilee of the Gentiles. We've been talking about this. The Lord's been talking to us about that this week, the last couple of weeks. And that is in the Wilmington, North Carolina area who is being ministered to also there this morning. Um, God is doing great things. Why? Because He's a great God and He cannot help Himself. He does good. He does great. He does love. He does healing. He does prosperity. He does harvest. He does protection. He does life. That's the God we serve. That's the God we serve. And if you're watching this through television or through the internet, we get contacted all the time from other countries. If you're listening to this and the God you serve doesn't sound like this God that we serve, all you have to do is just surrender your life to Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach, the one who came from Nazareth, the true Messiah. Surrender your life to Him. Call out to Him. And He will come into your life and become your Savior and your Lord and help you in your life. Glory to God. Glory to God. Um, the Lord has some amazing things for us this morning. I'm still uh, being downloaded in, have been this morning and last night. And so I am going to walk through this adventure with you today. Hallelujah. And the Lord just, Lord, take over, illuminate your word, teach us, Holy Spirit. Do what only you can do. You are the teacher. Make, you are the greatest teacher. If we need pictures drawn to help us understand, draw pictures, Holy Spirit, inside of our spirit. If whatever words that God that we understand, Lord, tell us those words. Lord, take the word that is sent out and, and teach everyone the way they need taught, the way I need taught, that I can have understanding. And we have understanding, we have eyes to see, ears to hear, uh, this is all in your spirit, man. Eyes to see, ears to hear, and hearts to receive from you, Lord. In Jesus' name, so be it. You agree with me? I agree with you. On the 24th of June, uh, 2020, just a, not too many days ago, I, I was asleep and the Lord woke me up. He woke me up for the day. He woke me up and He said, Change is coming. Change is near. And I just lay there and I said, like, Lord, okay, okay. What does that, what is it that you're wanting to say there, Lord? What does that mean? What does that mean for us, for the ministry, for, for, for the people of God? And I just laid there and I just wanted to make sure he didn't, if he wanted to say anything else, I didn't want to just get up and start my day and think I got to do this and this. So I just laid there listening, listening. And just kept saying that word over and over. Change is coming. Change is here. So let's go and let's look at a few things. And let's get our hearts ready. And we're building foundation stones upon what God has for us. This is a wonderful, wonderful um, freedom message. When I say freedom, I mean from the inside out. In Jesus' name. 
So this is a picture just you can go online. There's so many pictures that are out there. And this is a picture of a gathering, a protest. Um, and sometimes that we've seen on the television screen um, many times protests going on and where they actually get violent, become riots. Um, and so you see here that there's some people here that um, have on masks. There's some people who do not. Um, some are carrying signs of what they are there about. Um, and there's just a lot of uprisings going on which in the word of God it says that in the last days what are the last days the last days are before Jesus Christ comes back to get his church the last days after that is the great tribulation that will last seven years so the, we are in the last days you know, in the Bible, when it was talking about in the last days, and they, you know, when they're talking about the last days, a lot of the people that were sitting there with Jesus or under Paul and, and he's ministering, talking about the last days. When Pastor Timothy was ministering on the last days, you know, they thought, some of them thought that, you know, because the disciples asked Jesus, they said, when's this going to happen? And he starts unloading all of these things of what it's going to look like. And some of them, it was even popular in the, that early church that they thought that Jesus would come back in the rapture before uh, the disciple and then apostle John would leave the earth because there was a conversation that took place between Peter, John, and Jesus in the Bible. And he, they were talking about when they would leave earth, when they would pass away. And, you know, Jesus looks at Peter and says, why is that, in my, my prayer phrase, why is that your business if, 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 if John's going to live forever? So, or if he's going to live wherever. So, it's about the last days. So, some of them in the early church thought that Jesus was going to come back in their time. Yet, Jesus was very specific when he was downloading all of these things by Father and the Holy Spirit in his ministry while he was here, of the different lists of things that would happen before the rapture of the church and in those last days. And one of them was that Israel would become, be the young shoots of the fig tree would come back up. So that meant, you know, and at that time Israel was old. And so that meant that Israel had to be no more. And then become young again, be born again, if you will, and become a nation again. But when Jesus was talking to his disciples, she was not young. She was old. She had been there for many, 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 many years. But they knew that the fig tree was Israel. So that sign, in the midst of all the other signs, in the midst of the lawlessness, the uprisings, the uh, famines, earthquakes, all the different things within Matthew 24, Luke 21, and throughout, even through Daniel, all of that picture that's been painted for us to know, no, not the day or hour. No man knows that. Not even Jesus knows that. Not the angels In know the that. last days, it will be so intense of what is right being wicker, wicked, turned over, twisted, to say that it is actually wrong. And what is wrong is said to be right. That's one of the signs of the last days. Amen. So here again, we have this picture of people gathering. and um, This is in our culture and in our world says this is right. Of course, we do have our... First Amendment rights. We're all about speaking up for what's right and what's truth here. Amen. I know you are too. Yet this is right and this is wrong. What are you saying, Sister Jamie? Well, this week the new 
attack of the enemy's camp, I'm talking about the devil here. We don't war against flesh and blood. We war against principalities, powers, and rulers in the dark places. That's why we took authority over those things earlier. We're not, we're, not, we're not talking about people here. We're talking about the kingdom of darkness. So this is okay to gather and speak and yell what you believe. This is not as of this week. There are decrees going out in different states and providences saying that people in church worship even though they're so many feet apart, have on the masks, they shall no longer sing praises to God. So this is right in the culture. This is wrong. This is wrong. According to the culture. According to governmental entities in our time. So, last week I brought this forward that the Lord started dealing with me about the, the word mask. Go look up the word mask. And I did uh, in the Hebrew. And it is Strong's number 2664. Cha fos. It means to search, devise, disguise, test, Change. Now, if you remember, the Lord on the June 24th, let's go back to that, He woke me up and said, change is coming. Change is here. So, we're, we're, again, I'm looking at the word mass because I'm thinking, God, mask has to be a part of this last days thing somewhere because of all of this stuff going on. It's a sign, it's a, it's a type, it's, a, it's something to look and see of a marker of the time that you're in. So it means to search, devise, disguise, test, and you see it. It means change. Mask means change. It, ma it means make diligent search to disguise self. Everybody say that word disguise. Disguise. It means to hide, to search for, or to, or to search out. It also goes on to say, still the same word, these are just other, this is the primitive root to it. It means to seek, to conceal, let be sought. And it literally means, this is exactly how it's written, or mask change. Mask and change literally are parallel in their meanings. They mean the same. Change. A mask. It means to make diligent, to search. Disguise self, hide, search for, and search out again. So, when you're looking at that word mask, and it means it's a device. It's a disguise. And it is a, it's a time of testing. It's a time of change. The mask is a symbol of the time that we're living in. And it is, it is a time um, of disguise. It's a time of disguise. Not, be, not because you're wearing one. It's, a, it's, a, it's a something that's part of the attack of the enemy from the COVID He's the one bringing the plagues. That's one of the signs of the last days. That there would be plagues. There would be pestilences. Uh, the Amplified even talks about contagious diseases. It literally, literally is describing what has happened. And these are results. These are the signs. These are the markers of these last days. And mask is one of them. And so, again, the Lord has said, change is coming, change is here. You know, the Lord is so good. He will always tell His prophets ahead of time what's happening. 
He'll always tell his people. He will always, because he's a good father. He's never, he's never um, without words to talk to us. It's that we have to have eyes to see, ears to hear, and hearts to receive. You know, and there's lots of times, I, I say it myself, I can get myself so cluttered up with, you know, reasoning, trying to figure things out. How's that going to work? And what has God said? He said, trust in Him. Don't lean. Don't lean. Don't lean. Don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. How do you do that? Lord, how do you feel about that? What do you want me to do? What do you think about that? How's that going to work? You tell me how you want me to do that, Lord. That is acknowledging Him in all of your ways. And He'll direct you. He'll tell you what to do. He'll tell you how to do things. And all of us have to practice that. Man, I really have to practice that. And I, sometimes I feel like the enemy's just right over top of me waiting for me to... <laughs> Wake up in the morning so he can just bombard me with things I've got to do. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And that's one of the things that the enemy wants to do. He wants to poke at you and say, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? How are you going to do that? How's that going to happen? How's that going to happen? What's he trying to do? He's trying to stir, stir you up. And that's those, those, those darts that come at us. And how do we handle them when they come? We say, I resist you. We say the word and we resist him. We get him out of there. Amen. So, that's the good fight of faith. That's how you fight. That's how you fight, soldiers. Amen. So, in 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen, again, we're talking about the mask. And the mask means a disguise. It means to test. It's a devise. It's a disguising of self. Um, it means to conceal oneself. So let's look at what the word says when you start. These are these are scriptures that are talking about this this uh, this word. Second Corinthians eleven fourteen, and this is in the expanded uh, translation. It says, "This does not surprise us, and no wonder, since even Satan himself, excuse me, even Satan changes. See that, even Satan." changes himself to look like, disguises himself as and masquerades as an angel, messenger of light, trying to fool people into thinking he is from God, who is pure in light. Oh, now really look at that. Look at this, beloved. So we're talking about the mask. We're talking about the disguise. We're talking about a devising the test, we're talking about how the, the Lord has said that change is coming, change is here. And we're looking at this scripture, and here's this, here we go. Is that Satan changes himself to look like, disguise himself as a masquerade, which a masquerade, a lot of times when you, if you've seen people go to a masquerade, they have on what? A mask. Why? It's the disguise. Why? What's behind the mask? What they're dressed up may look one way, but what's really behind the mask is different. That's what Satan does. He tries to change himself to look like, I am so good, I am light, and I am pure. And these things, these things, this is really good. But the, the mask by, and, and it's covering. This is the mask of this is good. This is right. This is how you should do things. This is just the right thing. But the mask is he's changing. It's a change of himself disguising himself. And it's to fool because what he says, he's trying to, he's trying to make you think it's okay. This is good. This is a good thing. This is a right thing. Like this example. This is good. It's right. It's okay. But this is not okay anymore. This is not right anymore. It's a disguise. And the mask is an all out, if you will. You know how Nike, what, uh, if I say Nike or Nike right now, what do you think of? You think of the big check mark, right? This is, that's their logo. Well, this attack from the kingdom of darkness has a logo. And that logo is the mark of change. 
It's the mark of change. It's the mark of the mask. And God said, change is coming. And change is here. So, there's more that the enemy is strategizing, if you will, in the attack. And he wants the church to know. He wants us to be aware. Not be afraid. He's told us these things must happen in the Word of God. But don't panic. Don't be afraid. And He's wanting us to know the change, the symbol of the attack of the mask, the disguise of where Satan is trying to disguise himself. Yes, it is happening. And yes, there's more of this mask thing happening, of this attack. But that logo of the mask, when we see it, it is to remind us that we're living in the last days. The mask, the change, it's a symbol that if you look on the other side of that, yeah, it's an attack of the enemy. But look on the other side of it, it's also the logo of the last days. It's the logo of the last days. Glory to God. Get that in your heart. It's not a fear. It's a, oh, every time you see a mask, be like, glory to God. It's a sign of the last days. It's, it's the sign of the change, of the birth pains, of the transition from one way to another way. So we are raptured out of here. Glory to God. Amen. I hope that's encouraging your hearts. It encourages my heart. It's the logo of the change. Amen. And and look at it again. It's the look at it. Look look at that. This is in the Hebrew. The mask is the logo of change. Glory to God. The mask is the logo of change. And it is a logo to remind us that's the devil disguising himself, trying to convince the world that what is to, that what is trying to fool people to thinking that, the, that He's bringing you light. He's bringing you goodness. But see, we're keen to this. We understand. We are the people of understanding. We are those people that know the times. And we're not fooled by it. And we're not in fear. So every time you see a mask, just say out of your mouth, glory to God. Every time you see it on TV, glory to God. That's the sign of the change. The change and the rapture and the last days. It's a sign for me. So stir yourself up with it. Don't you be afraid of that. Don't you be afraid. And don't be afraid of, of these things coming down the pike. It's, it, this is a time for the glory of God to manifest in the earth. He's already told us what bad's got to happen. Don't be afraid. Yet he's also told us what's going to be parallel. The greatest outpouring that is this earth has ever seen. But the people of God have got to get ready for it. In here. And in here. Glory to God. So again, 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen. We're going to look at it in the Living Bible and the Common English Bible. And it says, Yet I... Yet I am not surprised. Satan can change himself into an angel of light. So it's not just about what you're thinking of just a, an angel looking one way and then looking another. Yet it is that too. He's also saying that he is in the change. He is the one. He can, he, he can change himself to be like dark light. Bad but think you're good. So it's a, it's a part of what this this end times is, is happening. And also it says, And no wonder even Satan, where's that word? Disguises himself as an angel of light. So these scriptures, that this is defining, this is defining the mask and change season of the last days that we're in. Again, God never lets His children not know He's doing everything for our good. Glory to God. Get excited. It's the last days. And every time you see a mask, remember, the mask symbol is mask equals change, which equals last days, which equals the rapture of the church, which means you are the generation. You are the generation. Glory to God. So, 
Matthew 24, 4. Jesus answered, At that time. What time? The time he's talking about to his disciples. The time of all of the, the list of things that it will look like before the rapture of the church. When he's given the list, he says, At that time deception will run rampant that means out of control deception from every rank from every corner from every nation from from the bottom of any type of government up any type of authority up in the churches out of the church all it's just rampant rampant means out of control everywhere so deception is a mark of this time that we're living in deception and he says be aware that you're not fooled in one translation it says even the elect will be fooled the elect get that there's people that are elected into positions people who have authority that they will even be fooled. So, be... Thank you so much for watching Getting Ready Today. This ministry is called to reach the law and to help the bride of Christ get ready for the wedding day, which is the rapture of the church. All this is made possible through the faithful prayers and financial support of our partners and friends. If you would like to become a part of the JCM family, please contact us. Also, send us your prayer needs and praise reports. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, keep getting ready. Jesus is coming. Praising Him. Praising Him. What happens? He starts inhabiting. He starts living in. He starts manifesting in praise. This is a tool. This is a warfare tool for the last days. 